All right, folks, look at what we're doing. We're finally cleaning this area up. So I've got big plans here today in Mombuzzle. I got to call a little number on the phone because uh, I want to get some paved roads in here. I hope it's not that much money. Well, I say we're going to do that. I mean, uh, paving a road would be really expensive, right? I don't know. We're about to figure that out. But yeah, I figure we go ahead and get all the rusty parts loaded up into the truck because we were going to do some work on the car today. So I was kind of debating between turning it into the OEM car, which I still think I want to do that. But I also kind of wanted to test out some of the off-road stuff uh, for the vehicle. Uh, there's actually quite a bit uh, that we can do here. All right, I'm trying to grab only rusty parts. Jeez, we better get a good little payday here. So yeah, I'd like to see a proper off-roading vehicle. Uh, I know we did it once with a mod that you could adjust the suspension, but it didn't have the actual good parts. And I'm pretty sure we could put the off-road tires uh, on the uh, vehicle now, so I think it's going to be pretty sweet. If not, just a little bit on the odd side. All right, is that the big rusty pieces? It looks like uh, most of them here. Let me close that up. That, oh my goodness, it is blocking it. Come on. Rusted exhaust. All right, set that sideways. Boom. All right. Uh, by the way, here's a look at the truck from the last episode. Did some good customizing. We are going to do an episode where we slam this bad boy down. Uh, not quite ready for that yet. Or we might, you know what? We may be squat it first. Then we'll slam it down. Because, uh, like, squatting's halfway there. Also, by the way, we found the original manufacturer's uh, steering wheel for the uh, car. So I want to stick that over there. I still got to clean up the area. I'm going to get a couple magnet trays. But... I feel like we got at least the rusty parts out of the garage. Enjoy some morning poutine. All right, I got a number I got to call here. Two, three. Okay, I think I got it this time. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I have to pay for the uh, paved roads, but apparently that's a thing. Oh my goodness. Paved road to your home. Wow, that's $115,000. I got to go sell a lot of plants. I at least want the paved home parking. The road might have to wait. That is, oh wow, that's a lot of money. So maybe we're paving uh, roads probably next episode uh, because obviously I still want to upgrade uh, the vehicle. But yeah, it would be nice to have paved parking out here. And honestly, the whole road would be nice. That's a, a little steep. Like that's the most expensive thing in the game. And I figured it was going to be expensive because uh, obviously uh, paving is not cheap. I'm surprised the, uh, you know, the city's not helping us do that since this is their crappy road. Uh, I don't own the whole road. But trust me, folks. We'll be getting the money soon enough. Also, I really need to get my Maple Shack operation going again. I feel like we've definitely uh, been not doing that, and I really need to. Come on, doggy, get in. Oh, oh, I thought he was in the way of the handle. So yeah, let's uh, let's go buy some parts for this bad boy real quick. Okay, stopping at my favorite auto parts store here, Mr. Roger. I uh, got a bit of shopping to do. Uh, going to leave the door open for the dog, of course. Okay, so. We've got a custom front bumper. I actually think this will work. Like, this will work good for, I would say, street racing. You got the huge front lip. Uh, but this actually has, like, an elevated or, like, a stepped-up front to it. And I feel like that is more for off-roading. Like, I, of course, you could probably just remove the front bumper. It'd probably be the best. Uh, I don't think you could stick any of these on here. I think these are all for the truck. We don't have anything that's universal, no. Also, we really need to stick that snorkel on the truck. I keep forgetting that's a thing over here. And oh, there's the uh, new OEM engine. Um, we'll get that later. I'm not really worried about that one. Okay, so we want to do this. Oh, and I'm going to run into the door at Roger's store. Um, all right, so yeah, that'll look good. Honestly, we would probably want to put the rally shocks uh, back on the car uh, to make it a nice off-roader. I uh, definitely want to jack it up. So yeah, as far as tires, I love these tires. Like, like these are definitely like the best. So we're gonna use these. Uh, these are universal, so they can go on to uh, the vehicle. Also, the dog's not happy. It's fine. And that's why we didn't actually buy the uh, road paving today. This has been already expensive. Okay, so these bad boys are set up and ready to go. What does this look like on here? Just a little mock-up. Uh, oh my goodness, that looks cool. It looks aggressive. Uh, we might change some other stuff. Oh, I can't fit these back here. Okay, we're just gonna shove these. This is not a good idea. I can fit like two in here, and I feel like I'm out of space because I gotta... Man, we shouldn't have taken this. We should have taken the truck. Yeah, I can fit two of these bad boys in here. I still have to carry the bumper home. Um, do you have a wrench, Roger? Uh, you mind if I change my bumper up here? Like, you should have a wrench, right? Is that really only the gas station that carries that? Okay, I now know what I want to see in an update. Tie downs. Can I stick that? Okay, that somehow fit in there. Um, we still have the bumper. Uh, I'm going to wedge this in here. This is so janky. 
Uh, does this look, this doesn't even look safe. Uh, oh my goodness, this is in the way. Okay, sorry, Leo. Um, yeah, I changed this out. I mean, maybe we could have changed it out here. I'm not really sure. All right, let's try to get home. Uh, put these on real quick, uh, and then we'll head out. Dude, we are loaded full of parts here. Uh, oh my, that bumper's gonna pop out. Just you watch. Okay, gotta pull this bad boy in here. Oh, that is a wall. It's fine. Uh, it's really hard to see in this vehicle right now. Okay, come on. Let's just ease up into the shop here. All right, cool. Yeah, we're probably about to ruin this thing. I can't even, like, where? Okay, there's the ignition. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, the door wouldn't open. Yeah, we're probably about to ruin this thing. That's probably why we should return this thing to original manufacturer after this. Uh, I would love to get another one of these cars, though, because I, I do like the idea of, like, customizing it and making it ridiculous. Okay, uh, try to get all the tires out. Looks pretty good. All right, so we're just going to put the jack stands under here, and we're going to change these wheels out. How many wheels do we own for this thing? It feels like we have a ton. Okay, let's get this bad boy here. All right, so I need to figure out where... Is it up? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's get these out. Let's get this front bumper off real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay, pop that off. Yeah, it's a good bumper. Is this the original? No, this isn't the big whip one. I think the other one has a, a bigger front end. Yeah, that's a... It says a unique bumper. Is that the original manufacturer bumper? I don't think it is. Yeah, now that I think about it. Oh, let's put this on here. Um, I like that. I was kind of hoping to see... And I still think there might be a push bar somewhere for this vehicle. You know, I think I was imagining things, but... I'm going to flash Santa Goat's Twitter. This is the creator of the game. There is definitely a push bar. I don't know where it's at, though. It's probably somewhere in the world, and we have to go find it. I was thinking it would have been in the uh, junkyard, but we actually searched out the junkyard. Okay, let's get these off. Uh, so I don't have the rally shocks on uh, right now. Uh, I feel like... Hold on, let me go look under. Uh, how far... Or how long would it take me to slip those on? I think those are actually really easy to put on. Uh, we need to make sure we have this open here, and then, hold on, let's pop open the... I think we had to pop open the hood here. Here we go, hood release. Uh, I gotta take off the strut bar, but I, I feel like it'd be worth it, because, I mean, you really can't legitimately call this an off-roader until you do that. Uh, so we already have spacers on here. Uh, they're fairly big. I don't think I want to go any bigger. The uh, tires are already popping out. I got two more screws, I feel like, here, and that should be it. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm missing a screw on this one. Oh, I was. Holy man. Uh, surprised I didn't collapse there. All right, so I can rip the shocks out, I believe. Uh, so yeah, those come out, and then we're gonna just stick these rally ones in here. Uh, I don't know if they still have the same settings I had last time. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh yeah, I forgot there's sport shocks too. All right, so let's go rally shocks. Let's go ahead and place this down in. It. Oh, geez. Okay, boom. Oh my goodness, those are set really high. Hoping these are gonna correct themselves. Is that my original settings? Oh wow. Uh, this thing's going to set really high off the ground. I mean, it should be a actually a really good off-roader. Okay, so that's all good to go there. All right, let's stick the off-roading tires on. I definitely have the settings off on this. Like, I think I put it as high as possible. Also, we're going to rip this off. If I like this, I don't feel like this is an off-roading bumper. I feel like that might be closer to the original manufacturer. I mean, it says custom. Uh, it feels like it might be... Or Actually, you know, that's definitely the front one there, the original one. But yeah, I feel like if we find the other one out in the wild, I'll want to stick it on immediately. So I might actually uh, take a wrench with me. Uh, let me get these tires secured. I'm going to lower the suspension. Uh, I've got a wrench around here. Yeah, let's get this adjustable spanner. We want to take this with us. Okay, how high is this thing actually setting? Is it really, truly this high on? Uh, oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think it was the jack stands making it appear quite a bit higher hold on set it down no that's plenty good right there uh, all right close that up there that looks actually pretty legit like i'm pretty happy with that uh what kind of sprays do we have over here we're gonna go ahead and just match uh the body up real quick oh this has got a gloss on it i'm gonna have to take that off oh my goodness not gonna lie the paint might be a little screwed up on this thing we'll have to go by the store uh, I don't know. I, I'm assuming... Are they open on the weekends? I'm hoping they're open on the weekends. Uh, we might have just enough here. All right. Just paint. Make sure we got everything there. Yo, we just blacked this thing out. That looks good. Like, I like it with the red uh, on the wheels there. Uh, I'm actually digging the way this looks. Okay, so 
We got to start here. I need to replace the bolts on this thing. Uh, I want to find that front. Uh, also, we should carry... I know I saw one in here. A rust repair kit, because from the picture, that thing looked pretty rusty. Uh, so I, I have a bunch of needs right now. Okay, ready for adventure. Um, okay, I need to go locate that bumper. We've got the rusty parts loaded up. I don't know if I'll get around to doing that yet. Uh, let's get Leo in the car, ready to go for a little ride. It's a nice Saturday. Uh, we're gonna go test out this off-roader. Definitely need to find that front bumper piece. Uh, but I actually like the way this thing looks, and that's why I really wish we had a second one of these. Yeah, buddy. I think the dog's gonna dig this too. All right, uh, which way shall we go? Uh, I got an idea as to where that bumper could be. So we're gonna go to, uh, we'll call them the farmers because either I think it's over there or there is a random spot where we found, I think it was like a welded differential. And I wonder if maybe they've replenished the spot. I think it's actually along the way. And oh my goodness, this thing still has a ridiculous amount of power. Like, I think we need to seriously get into the uh, ECU and maybe almost down tune it a little bit. It's supposed to be an off-roader. You know, I like how I brought the wrench and the rust kit, but if I were to need bolts, uh, I don't have those if I find that bumper. Uh, think, think, think. Man, I think we start here on the main island, then we go over to the farmer, the dealer island. Uh, I think it's got to be one or the other. I'm convinced, Han. Let me think where we found the welded differential. I think it was in a trash can. Maybe off down here, potentially? I'm trying to get familiar with the map again. It has been a, besides the couple episodes we've done, I haven't really been out here and it's been a while since we played this. This is fine. There's a beach. Is it, is this the beach down here? Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't want to quite like nail it across here. Yeah, I definitely think we need to get in here in tune uh, with the ECU a little bit. Uh, I know it sounds bad for me to say, let's knock some ponies out of it or let's tone it down a little bit, but that's the thing. I think it's up here on, is this it? Uh, no. Okay, no, we're just climbing to the top of this. Maybe it's, oh, oh, there's the trash can. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, this thing is plenty capable of going off-roading. I'll tell you that, oh, I don't think it's in here. Okay, just shut it off. Uh, boop, boop, and the, oh, it is, holy man, look at that. Oh, that's, oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, we got a problem though. I don't have, okay, hold on. First off, rust kit. It needs it. Uh, let's go. Clunk. Uh, not gonna lie, that looks awesome. Um, where's my spanner? Where where does it hook in at? Uh, is this a thing? Down here. Does it hook in somewhere? Oh my goodness, it does not stick on. Okay, definitely need some bolts. I wonder if the guy's open today. I was needing new bolts anyways. Uh, but yes, we have found the off-road uh, bumper. Uh, let's see if we can shove that in there. Sorry, Leo. Uh, you know, we don't need no roads. We should be able to just go right up here, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. You got this. Whee! <laughs> Off-roader, yo. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get anxiety from this. I uh, better not do this too much. <laughs> you know, what other pieces would you like to see for this car? I think a roll cage would be kind of cool. Uh, it kind of looks like there's a roll cage in here right now with that, that bumper. Uh, I think I'm taking the, uh, I'm taking a shortcut to get home. I can just bolt this thing up there. Well, I say I'm taking a shortcut. Is there a road up here? I feel like there's a road up here, right? Yes! Okay, I do remember it. I think there was only like three possibilities for where this thing could have been. The dumpster, the junkyard, which we searched at the other day and we didn't find anything other than the steering wheel, or like I said, the dealer area. All right. Well, this thing definitely handles great. Uh, I like it, I like it a whole lot, but the look just isn't quite there yet. So let's go boom. Uh, yes, Leo, I hear you. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of the car. I'm not leaving you in here. Okay, let us shove this back on the front. Uh, let's get this spanner out. We don't need to keep this in the car. All right, what kind of bolts do you use? Is it big bolts, small bolts? What is holding this thing? What is holding this thing in there? Okay, so it's the same bolts uh, that the normal bumper uses. So it's right here on the side. There we go. Ah, that's nice. It looks kind of ridiculous, uh, but I like it. So folks, we have done it. We have an off-roading car. I think the only thing left to do is if we want to change it back to the original manufacturer, which we'll probably do that 
at some point. I kind of want to keep it as this configuration right now. Maybe we'll tinker more with the truck. Uh, we definitely need to get the, uh, the road finished here because it would be so cool to have a paved road, paved parking lot. Uh, that way we could park our vehicles and make everything just look really neat and nice uh, out here. 